Hello, structural spuds, and welcome to Structural Potato Studios. No, wait, load bearing spuds. Hello, load bearing spuds, and welcome to Structural <laughs> Potato Studios. I am here with Shadow Dancer Brony. This is Fox Mage, of course. You may recognize me as the ninja in Spelunky. Um, also, off panel, we have guest um, Angry Fox Lady and Sir Noble. Hi. Hello. Hi. We're trying food today. <clears throat> this is a different kind of video. The angry fox lady went all the way across the country, across the sea, or at least out to my van where I keep all the snacks. She really does. <laughs> um, and I brought in samples of some of the Japanese products that I sell. Now, out of your out of your windowless van. <laughs> <laughs> at, at my booth at conventions. We call it the is stabbing this, cabin. <laughs> is this an infomercial? <laughs> oh, no. I think it might be now. Do I need to be more no. Billy Mays? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll try. Please don't. <laughs> it's, more oh, I, it's happening. So anyway, we brought some tasty things for them to try. <laughs> I have tried many of them myself, but not all of them. So uh, hence the palate cleansers. Yes. Yes. Um, so we're gonna start with I think cheesecake. I'm going to pass those out. The only warning we've gotten is that this is different than American cheesecake. It is cake. a savory cake. It is. It so is you not... now know as much as we do. So hold one up for the camera. Right. Which side is up? <laughs> the, the, I guess this. Probably the side that so, has the writing on it. The original original plateau. Koriyama's Delicious Light Cheesecake. No, Deliciously Light Cheesecake. Deliciously Light Cheesecake. So. <laughs> Fabulous cake that melts in your mouth. Try the original homemade style cake. Huh. It has the consistency of a wet sponge that's been sitting in the thing for a week. Why is, why is mine wet? Oh, I'm sorry. Is I, I deep thought it's the mochi in the same bag. Oh, okay. The wrapping is wet. Your cake should not be wet. If your cake is wet, it's a real problem. You should see a medical professional immediately. Yeah, I, I can't argue with these sponge. It has no smell. <laughs> Uh, it, it does have a, a subtle... Bit, a little, not much. Uh. <laughs> They're all sniffing the cheesecake. <laughs> you know what you know what it smells like? That, that The like squirt cheese that you put on cracker. That's really good. Is it? I'm, not a, I'm kind of afraid to... No, it's really good. It tastes it, like it, sponge it, cake. It really is like cheese-flavored angel food cake. Yep. This is actually surprising. The, the, no, I'm sure it's going to be all downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I, I have to agree that uh, the flavor is reminiscent of spray, spray cheese. cheese yeah. yeah. None of those necessarily a bad thing. It's, it's a slow building spray cheese. Yeah, the first bite you don't taste the cheese. Hmm? So, that's pleasant. I like it. Yeah. I need yeah. fruit for it though. Overall, thumbs up. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> Toriyama, you make a good cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. Okay. So, for this next one, we're going to need the bowls. <laughs> this is actually really good. <laughs> Can I just pour it right on your plate? Yeah, it's fine. Bowl? Just trying to avoid the sweet and sour sauce. That might be weird. <laughs> it could help. Okay, I'm gonna pass that to Fox Mage. Happy. I think this cake is good enough. For we me have here is, is I guess you pronounce that Happy Snacks Crazy Mix. So. It, let's see. Happy see. Snacks Crazy Mix is a tasty snack you can enjoy time after time. Well, until the bag's done, anyway. You'll find it hard to resist the deliciously festive taste. Right? What does festivity taste like? Well, the number one ingredient is glutinous rice. Or is that gluttonous rice? <laughs> <laughs> that would be glutinous rice. Okay, right. glutinous rice. Now, this is actually one that I haven't personally tried yet. So if you want to pass that back so I can try some too. my cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently the cheesecake did okay. <laughs> Here, somebody hold this. You could actually pass it back over here like you're supposed to. I could. <laughs> Like for guest hand. All right, so we <laughs> have many, we have many different pieces. 
So we have this kind of reminiscence of a pretzel piece. Um, what's that? Um... Ooh, and there's a little spice to that. Oh, yeah. Is that what makes it crazy? It looks like a popcorn of some sort. Yeah, we have, okay. we have a, a lot of these little kind of banana shaped. Ooh, I'm not yeah, sure not, what these are for. Not yeah. all of them are spicy. Just some of them are. That's a kick. Non spicy ones taste like cracker snacks. Or yeah. Kind of tastes like Chex Mix gas. to me. The cracker yeah, snacks without the sugar. The cereal that like, I used to eat when I was a kid. And these little square ones. Hmm. That one was randomly spicy. <laughs> yeah, the little pretzel looking ones are. Like I could mm. get I like the I like the pop of spice in them. Though. I like that. I yeah. think I could get into this a little bit more if it was salted. Yeah. Mm. There's some salt the right here. Banana shaped things are a little bland. Yeah. Well. Mm. It is better with salt. I, I don't pretty much pee up. Mm. Anyone else randomly get a dried pea? I do too. Okay. Yep. It's kinda of interesting. I don't like these, but I like it in that form. I mean, it's crunchy. I, I think I'm going to say meh. I, I wouldn't go out of my way to eat it, but it's mm -hmm. not bad. Okay. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour mm -hmm. the leftovers into this bowl in the middle here, oh. since the bag is open. Just use that one. Okay. okay. There's lots of fun little shapes. I don't know that it's so one-sided with the little banana shapes that I don't think you get to see, like, you should pick that up for the camera. The real variety, yeah. All right. There's like little stars. Yeah. And green. Let me know if I need to move this. Oh, it's good. There's like a lot of variety going on there, and all I taste is the weird spice. There's just two peas mm. on the top, and it looks like an eyes. <laughs> right. And the little frowny mouth there. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. All right. So. <coughs> what's up next? Hold that one up, and then I cut you little pieces. Wait, hold this up and you cut me? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold it up. So. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? I, I read that as re rocks. <laughs> um, that works. This is melon the, bread. Hand me a bowl so I can. The only thing in the back, let's see. Daichi pan, pan, melon pan? Melon pan, pan. Okay. melon bread. So that is the only thing in English. Yep. I mean, and that's oh, this, right? Yeah, that's what you're eating. The yeah. old melon bread. Melon bread. Which, if you've never had it, is extremely good. So, a little layer of RC said you gave her stuff on of top. When you ran into a con or something. Well, RC needed to eat a sandwich. <laughs> hmm. I like the what? edge has the cookie dough on it. Hmm. Well, that's unique. Mm. Oh, yours didn't get much cookie dough, unfortunately. Uh, the, the, the bread is subtly sweet, with the crust being uh, where most of the uh, mm. flavor and uh, sweetness is. It tastes like frosted rolls. Not a fan. Not a fan? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. See, I like the, the edging, but it's got the sugar cookie. Yeah. It reminds me of something I can't put my finger on. I have a feeling mm. I'm going to run into that a lot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of kind of like a sour candy. Mm. It reminds me of those Lemon Girl Scout cookies. Oh, yeah. A little bit. That's not food. <laughs> so if you like Lemon Girl Scout cookies, you'll love this. I'm going to like try some of these hearts and stars and <laughs> party crazy mix. It's magically delicious. I the sexy <laughs> ones. Hi. Alright. <laughs> so if, this video will feature uh, Shadow Dancer, Fox Mage, and the hands of the rest of the cast. <laughs> <laughs> and guest hands. Those are guest hands. <laughs> you know what? I will walk uh -huh. over there at some point. Well, I, I also <laughs> like how we have the camera set up on top of the table, so every time the table shifts, it rocks. Yeah. <laughs> so, like hopefully we're not making you seasick. But if we are, put a like so we know that it's, uh, you're seasick. I'm going to try... Uh, that's or that you like guest hand. Yes. Either or, really. Yeah, I should <laughs> like face. Yep. Really, you guys one. are just, you know, shamelessly looking for likes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, e it's almost Easter. Time to be generous with the like button. 
What is being poured on my plate? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Ooh, these. Poison. These are a seaweed rice cracker. And they're really strange looking. Looks like the pig in a blanket. Oh, well, I haven't tried this one either, so I'm going to grab a couple. And I'm going to pass them that way. Alright. Alright. And we can have the bag over here and we can show oh, it to yeah, the camera. I don't want that. Nope. Alright. Mm. So we have oh, Norimaki. Alright. So rice crackers wrapped in seaweed. This is the best thing ever. This is the worst thing ever. <laughs> so the jury is evenly split. I it I like seaweed, but I like it fresh like in sushi. I don't I don't know it does have a very that. strong sea taste. Oh. This reminds me of finding dead fish on yeah, the beach yeah, for, in North Carolina. Yeah, for the best one I've ever were at home and oh, can't there. taste this. Um, if you've ever been to really the beach. Fishy. Oh, yeah. And you're walking yes. along, and you know that smell of the beach has from all the dead fish that get washed up on shore? Imagine eating that smell. <laughs> yeah, that, that is yeah, exactly what you really yeah. imagine. I love the sea... sea um, Seaweed though, so I yeah. like this. Now, now to be to be fair, you I know, know Sir Noble liked it. Here, have some more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It's very much one of those you'll love it or you're, oh, you'll hate man. it. Yeah, there is no middle ground. Okay, we're gonna try something a little we're different on these as one. we go on. That's really good though. I, I think that qualifies for the all the nope. Oh. <laughs> God damn, all the nope. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I need to wash that out. So, so, that, so that whatever I eat next is not uh, cross. Uh, that's why we have, we have, I also brought Japanese gummies as chasers. It also doesn't mix well with beer. <laughs> Here, take two. I need a heavier beer for that, I think. Hey, whatever this is, it looks tasty. Used up all the scratch already. Alright, you'll have to, um, oh, that mixes that one, but here's the box, and then just hold on. Alright, what we have here are Paki Midi. And it's, something written in Japanese. It's, um, it's a chocolate stick. With a uh, midi matcha, but it's a strawberries with actual bits of strawberry crushed up in the matcha. Mm -hmm. What is matcha? Like green tea, but not. Okay. <laughs> the the coating that's on the stick. <clears throat> yeah. All right. I will take this one. It is, it is in the green tea family. It is a little thicker of a chocolatey mm. thing. Oh, it's tasty. That's really good. I like these a lot. It's good. It's no. very refreshing. Especially after that last Yeah, I was going to say, why don't we do this after the seaweed? I do have to say, while I love the seaweed stuff, I could get sick of it really quick. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a grab a couple and munch on it. This this is much better. This was needed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is our new chaser. Mm -hmm. Very distinctive uh, strawberry there. So. But not overpowering. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate isn't overpowering as well. Mm -hmm. It's a lot like the strawberry crush one, only thicker chocolate. And I like that it's a short, fat pocky. Mm -hmm. Who is staring at me? <laughs> the only one continuing to eat. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's one we highly recommend you pick up. Mm -hmm. Either at uh, Angry Fox uh, booth or at other, your other uh, convention <laughs> providers. <laughs> Buy this. <laughs> okay. I'd like to think um, that was a glowing endorsement. We're, we're going to try something a little different now. Let's try... Different than the good thing. Got it. Um, okay. You have a lot of hockey like things. <laughs> I want to mix them up. Need to space them out. Be well, there's a reason for that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I I don't I want to go like sweet to hot. Okay. Because otherwise, by the time you get to the last item, yeah, you will taste nothing else. So there's one like those chips at the top of the I'm bluff that one. <laughs> okay. Sesame is a migrant. Okay. For me, so. Sesame. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you guys that one. Do you want to try one? 
Um, I'll pick part of one if someone okay. wants to split with me. <coughs> Alright. Okay. Dai so, Fuku, and then a whole bunch of stuff I can't read. Uh, I'll I'll cut for those of down. you that have never had mochi before, it's he- it's surprisingly yeah. heavy. It is very heavy. It weighs dense. more than it looks. It takes a lot. Uh, Brony, you want to hold that back up? A little bit. There we go. His was, um, it's like dropped. <laughs> Yeah, you get a nice one over here. Yeah, the, the best way to describe the the best way to describe mochi is kind of like the candy in dumpling form. Is probably uh, the best way. Okay. How do I open I'll this? Daifuku mochi sora goma <laughs> rice cake. I've never had mochi before. Um, it looks kind of intimidating. It's uh, texturally. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot going on. There, there is. is. I don't know if I want a piece that big, um, but there's the, a lot going the on The next here. one I'm going to give you is a slightly sweeter one, but I thought we'd start with this one. There's a little piece for you. I'll put it. Just, All right. Here's what it looks like. I have to eat a whole half. <laughs> no, you don't have to eat a whole half. <laughs> I can cut here. Take that one. Thank you. All right, time to crack this thing open. Is this what I think it is inside? It's um bean paste. Right? It's a bean paste, and it's so oh, it's a sesame bean paste. <clears throat> this does not smell promising. They're not bad. I'm it, scared. Does it smell? It smells a hint like refried beans. I love, but it's not refried but... beans. Don't don't American out on me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the just, only... just do it. So I'm the only one who thinks it smells like a caterpillar cage that hasn't been cleaned in a bit. <laughs> I could have to say I don't know that smell. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very chewy. <laughs> Sarah Noble's face is amazing right now. It's yeah. like, ugh. This is horrible. Very chewy. The uh, seeds be give me a little bit of something for your teeth to grab onto. Oh, I'm going to need a chaser for this one. <laughs> There's a bubble the texture right is a little... How do you describe that texture? Oh, pudding. <laughs> like, like a pudding that doesn't dissolve in your mouth. That's... Don't judge all mochi by this. Other mochi is good. Beans <laughs> shouldn't be sweet. That's all I have to say. <laughs> uh. Guest is like chugging her Diet Pepsi. <laughs> I don't think Guest it's... is almost out of Diet Pepsi. There, there's Diet Coke in the fridge. So. I'm very accustomed to this personally, so like this one doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> I... I don't. I can see this being. It? I can see this being very filling. Mm-hmm. I think so. If I if I finish I this off, this but uh, yeah, if, if, if you <laughs> if you're like uh, if you're at a convention and you don't have a whole lot of pocket money and you need to fill yourself up, definitely I can see this being the way to go. I rather starve. So it's like that elven <laughs> bread from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut up some of the sweeter type. These are the um, the next. I'm afraid of this now. No, look at this. This is the only bad <laughs> variety I've ever had. Here, wanna send one? Do they give those to bad children? No. <laughs> send those two that way, and I'll cut this one. All right. All right. This looks like a more traditional rice yeah. cake. This is a guava. Ooh, one. Guava. I like guava. So. This one also was frozen a couple of hours ago, so it's going to be more chilled than the other one. Alright, so Tropical Dekfuku Guava. This is Rice my favorite kind with that white, I have right Rice now. cake with white beans. <clears throat> Deep refrigerated. Used within three days after yeah, thaw. The inside of this does not look like it matches the outside very This well. one tastes more like a, like a dragon fruit, or like, well, a guava, if you know what guava is. This is what it looks like. Close. I require some form of opening device. Kind of looks like somebody made something out of Play Doh. Sure. I <laughs> do. This is my favorite one. Of, of... It's squishy and tasty. It's candy lump. You look like you're doing better than the last one, guest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there one of those flavors I can't quite put my finger on? It's, um, uh, this one, I mean, it's like eating a flower. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it reminds me a little bit of, um, uh, what's the, the candy that's made with rose petal, or rose water? There, there is, it's rose candy. Oh, it is? Yeah. I used to sell that, too. Oh, no, I, I'm referring to, there's, like, a name for it. Since I do know what guava tastes like, and I am very fond of guava juice, it does definitely have, especially kind of as a after... 
kind of as, kind of as a um, uh, secondary uh, mm-hmm. flavor. It's very very guava fruitish. So they'll get the bean paste in there, and then uh, and that. So it definitely reminds me of dragon fruit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I finish my piece. Th- on this right here. I approve so of it. It, it. it is very tasty. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to set that aside for now. I'm not going to finish mine, but it doesn't require a chaser. <laughs> right, you don't look traumatized. I just need a sip. Basically, the, the bean paste does not taste like it matches the rest of the flavor. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed there's something bean related I don't like because I love beans. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. I have a bunch of things. <coughs> sorry. I spilled. Ooh, more of the seaweed. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm gonna pass this one to you guys because you, your bowls are down there. <clears throat> All right. So All right, paper, scissors, rock over who doesn't have to eat the seaweed. I have not tried this one either. Here, mm. we go. No. <laughs> All right. So more happy snacks party mix. So. In case you're not feeling up to being the crazy mix. Yep. <laughs> the green ones are pretty tasty, like the green the banana ones. Alright, so. I'm gonna come over there. Again, we have more of uh, the seaweed. I don't know. It's kind of got a kick of a This spice. looks like it may have. Spicy, like a small hint of spice. It's good. Let's see, this has either seeds or bits of seaweed in it. I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure this one out. Hold that in front of the camera. What the hell is that? It's that like one a is good. Pee. Got oh, I got one. It looks like it has like icing or something on it. Oh, it's sweet. Sweet and spicy. It's sweet and then spicy, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like okay. it. The one with the little, well, the different. long thin one with the little specks in it, that's definitely a sesame seed uh, type one. It's very tasty. I think I like this one better than the first one we tried. Because I don't feel like I want to salt the crap out of I this. I like this cool little spirally thing. Hold right? On. That's a neat mm-hmm. shape. Wow, wow. Hmm. Though it has These the brown ones have soy sauce on them. The seaweed tastes the same. <laughs> Can I have a ball and then I'll. More of the banana ones, which I'm gonna have to drown out the seaweed taste before I. So here's more shapes. I don't know if that's. I'm kind of convinced the little banana shaped things are just in there as filler. They're the, they're yeah. the peanut of Asian food. <laughs> I'm really intrigued by this little sesame ball. Okay, let's see. Kind of adorable. The sesame balls are good. I the, non, the, the raw balls without sesame are really good. The, I like the soy sauce kick on them. It's a little white one with a little green flex of something. This looks like a taco. I, see the I like the little stars. The stars are tasty. I don't think I have any stars. What is this? It's a maple leaf. It is. It's a little star. <laughs> oh, it's a star. Okay. If this mix is way better than the other one. Right. Like I could I could see myself like, snacking with... on that. Mm, the green ones are wasabi. <clears throat> oh I just got one that's like all wasabi. <laughs> but it like didn't burn my nose, so Oh this one did. I didn't <laughs> think that one was all that spicy. Must uh I got a spicy one. Must be a little uh irregular in how much flavoring is in it. Yeah, that's wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my Your novel just like... burst into flames. <laughs> okay. No, I have to live for the rest of the week. <laughs> That's why we're like me. Like, but only for the rest of the week. No. Beyond that, it doesn't matter. I'd like to actually move this oh. time. We'll talk more about that later. Yeah, though, that's another announcement for later. Ten on that bombshell. <laughs> Spoilers. Spoilers. Okay. Um, okay. There was a lot of vodka in there. <laughs> Any more... <laughs> I'm gonna need some of the vodka. Um, about that. <laughs> there, there's there none left. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna recommend. There's rum in the fridge. I should do this one next. And Coke. Okay. okay, I better be careful. I just almost picked up one of those things to eat again. Haha. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Okay. They give you cat treats for um, cat for loop. <laughs> no one will use them. Apple, just, or one, or whatever. Yeah. Which one's yeah, this? Yeah, but then no one would ever take the re-rolls. <laughs> this, here, I pass it this way. This one is the hot chili salad. 
I have tried this one already. Hot chili salad, you I'm, said. I'm going to skip on a second taste. The, the hot chili I can understand, but <laughs> salad. I watched an Emmy made in Jabroni video hold that up. where she talked about the salad flavor. So. And it's just kind of like veggie flavors. Right, I'm going to try so. two of these. So, yeah. Not, Let's see, the salad on here, I'd say, is in the. Mm. What's that? The. Like uh, the Japanese equivalent of like a pasta salad type mm-hmm. look to it. So you know what these simple remind me of a little bit. The um, in some strange way they make me. Th- <clears throat> Whoa. Yeah, it builds. <laughs> yeah, in some strange way they make me think of the old um, pizza flavored Pringles. Actually, they still make those. I I do also have the pizza oh, flavored oh, crusts. Oh yeah, <laughs> but I I didn't bring them here because I thought everyone had tried them already. I only tried to bring things that I thought you guys hadn't had. Did you want <coughs> seaweed Pringles? Yeah. Those are tasty. I want some. I've been looking for some forever. Also, want to try the Kit Kats that you put in the do, It does build, but it is It does tasty. build. It's a nice... Like, and it, it doesn't like it. stop building. It doesn't reach yeah. a plateau and stop. Hot chili salad? If you it's like spicy, I look at like these. It. For it's science. Actually. For science, I'm going to try one more to see if it actually plateaus or if it just keeps going. It's managed to make my Diet Pepsi taste hot. I don't think it's spicy. It's got a little kick to it. It's not until the second or third one that it re- Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not one who likes building spice. Yeah. I like the hits you and goes away. Could <laughs> <laughs> be okay over there, Fox? Make your beer. <laughs> I don't think beer's a good idea Would after that. <laughs> beer's always a good idea. There is milk in the Here. fridge if anyone needs it. <laughs> nah. Pass that over. I do not want a seafood one. Okay, here. Hmm? Ooh, if I didn't know this was a seafood one, I would have only Sorry. grabbed one. Seafood one? <laughs> here, take the pack and the box. And box for camera. All right. So, Fred's Tamyan flavored. We tried this last weekend. There's, there's a big shrimp right there on the box. And a lime. Yep. <coughs> Get my palate ready for this. Well, the smell is interesting. The taste is interesting. Not awful. But really interesting. Now that you've all eaten them, if you've ever eaten the ramen noodles, the spicy shrimp with lime, that's exactly the same flavoring. Hmm. A little bit of a fishy aftertaste there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Drink your beer. <laughs> No, it's still being overpowered by the spice. Have a gummy. No, no. no. Overall, I improve of these. So. All right, so we've got a mixed reviews on this one. Okay, we're gonna like the savory prawn flavored potato chips. Ooh, savory prawn. Right. Go for an experience. Okay, we're gonna do one more snack mix. All right. These are usually safe unless it's got more well, than seaweed. Well, I feel like <laughs> like this is a good neutral. Okay. Between. I Even want another one of those. Spicy now. I want oh. another one of those spicy ones, but I don't. <laughs> so basically, it's just like the chips that were uh, we had on the bluff. Yes. <laughs> By the chips we had on the bluff, that was the uh, Doritos flavor. Uh, the like test chips. flavors. Test flavors. I don't like how red these look. It was, it was the hot one. Good well, I Sorry. More After we ate the bag, we couldn't tell what the other flavors <laughs> were. No, they touched we, we really flavor. could. I told a friend that uh, the uh, uh, Chipotle ones cracker. were uh, graham cracker. Because that was the best identification we could come up with. Because our taste buds had been shot when we tried them. <laughs> well, uh, there. And now she'll never believe us on anything ever again. No. <laughs> mm. I like this. I like this. Oh, this one. Hey, that's a right. package. There's also a few more that you missed there. There. I see right. seaweed. So, <laughs> it's not bad. Bloody snacks. This is bullshit. Tokyo <laughs> Mix. Actually, actually, Fox Mage, it's not as blatant. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it may be a terrible flavor, but it's really kind of mild. So. Uh, <laughs> no, we can we can start with these little white things. Right? Yeah, yeah. One of the little white, white, white kind of twisty thingies. I'm gonna try a white twisty. I didn't get one. Mm-hmm. 
If they have a flavor, it's are. being drowned out by the spice. These were fine. <laughs> what are they? No flavor. They're like a rice chip. No flavor? All right. There's no flavor. Little... It's a little bit sweet. Let's try one of these yellow mm. disc things. Always... Oh, this I like the yellow disc things. I do too. Okay, so it's kind of puffed rice yeah. cracker type thing. Just like Chuck's to me, honestly. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not dissimilar from that. Mm. <clears throat> have a have a smoky taste almost. Yeah. I am not eating the seaweed things. <laughs> that was kind of rot. <laughs> so we've learned, we've learned that guest does not like seaweed. Guest likes seaweed flavored Pringles. <laughs> to be fair, those were hideous. <laughs> <laughs> Twisty. Mm, those are good. Mm. Yeah, like Chex Mix rice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Chex like, there. Again, I don't know that I'd go out of my way for that one as mm. opposed. I think the second one we ate, the, yeah, the yeah. party mix was really good. It's like, away from me. <laughs> <laughs> No. She, mo- she moves the uh, right the. Uh, Do you want to pick those up so we can look at the pieces? All right. So <laughs> hold on. I'm, I'm looking at the things that are attacking Fox Mage over here. All right. All right. So pieces here. We got uh, the white ones and the little speckled ones again. Which so. Yeah, like I don't. I don't mind this one as much. Oh, it's a twisty one. Ooh, that's tasty. All right. Overall, I think the various party mix things are just kind of there. Yeah. There's something you would put out at a party. Mm-hmm. So. Mm. Like a room party. Like when you're at a convention. Right? So. Conventions where booths can ha- be Have, have, have we mentioned that all these snacks pro- <laughs> have been provided by Angry Fox uh, Studio, Angry Fox LLC. So. Angry Fox LLC. We're not really an LLC anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I highly recommend for this next one, everybody clear your palate as much as you can. So um, take some of this to grab some some gummies. Get the stuff out of my I may need bread, another beer. Sadly, I'm gonna have to go after this, so we might as well do the announcement now. Beer. Oh, so. we have an announcement. Sir so um, Noble is moving to New Orleans on Saturday. Yeah, that's our announcement. So I will not be in Spelunky videos, but. Um, once I get set up and stuff, you will be seeing my Warcraft videos, because I'm a Warcraft nerd. I just kind of assumed we'd set you as the bot. Probably. (laughs) I'll be back to visit, of course, because this is my hometown, but, um, there'll be Warcraft videos. Um, I'm probably doing the Iron Man challenge. Iron Man. Um, look up Ray K. I I don't want to be on camera, I'm shy. I'll be on camera. Pull your hood down. (laughs) So all we see is your mouth talking. No. (laughs) Um... I'll do Warcraft videos, probably do the Iron Man challenge, um, probably some hijinks for my guild, Reckless Ascension on Story of Brotherhood, um, Horde side, so, and probably some other gaming as well. So you'll see me in other forms and... And when you're back, we'll, <laughs> This isn't uh, even my final form! <laughs> and there could very well be a structural potato visit to Noble in New Orleans and I make them try all kinds of New Orleans food. If we film this, we are filming this in first person. Mm-hmm. The or entire maybe, drive and everything. Or maybe Structural Potato goes to Bourbon Street. Hmm. Ooh. That's also in first person. Right, I've never been to New way. Orleans. I would like to remedy that. I can be up for that. So this is the product that my some of my booth of helpers refer to as an abomination or that science has gone too far. Sweet corn flavored pretz. And as a side note, a Noble fact... Sarah Noble's allergic to corn. So you have no idea if this tastes um, right or not. This, is, this will be okay. It's only wheat flour, like, right. sweet corn paste. <laughs> mm, sweet corn paste. You, you may want to put that down. I'll be, a small amount is fine. I can have a small amount. Ooh, monosodium glutamate. That usually is oh. what goes, does me in. So I think you gave me these once before. These are actually good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these aren't oh, bad. I took no. one bite. They oh, taste God. like salted Older, sweet corn. Horrible. Jesus. Oh, okay. If you like sweet corn, Ugh. yeah, I, I this is pretty that's, much the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's oh, pretty much I'm a dead ringer for su- uh, sweet corn with salt no. and butter. 
I oh. like maybe, sweet corn. Maybe I halfway between it. sweet corn and popcorn, actually. Yeah. Like it's sweet corn when it's, the butter's dripping off yeah, of it. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, like heavily butter. buttered. Yeah. Like, like if you go to the yes. if you go to like a it's fair. Oh. Yeah. I have another one of those. The, the jury seems Just to be hands. out on this one. <laughs> Um, well, it's really three to two, so I mean, you oh, know. Oh, that's nasty. I tried one for the... F- and, and I thought maybe it was something no, I could come back broken. to after having eaten once or twice, and nope. So overall, oh. the vote is good on these. No lies. Okay. Um, these have guest seal of approval. Yeah. I see the box. For the next one, I actually had... Shadow Dancer. Shadow Dancer Brony. Put these in the freezer for a minute. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna say everyone should try one warm and then try one cold. Yep. So we took we opened the pack, split uh <coughs> <coughs> these popcorn things are these sweet corn things are really split good. it split some of it to keep it warm and some of it in the freezer. I'm gonna pass on those. Okay. We pass the box. All right. And then so we have chocolate banana taki. Here's a cold one. Banana cream covered chocolate biscuit sticks. Here's the cold. That is a thing. Try taste it cold. The, you can definitely mm. taste the uh, banana. No. Yeah. Really, only the banana, mm. as far as I can tell. Mm-hmm. There might be like a little hint of the uh, aftertaste of chocolate. Mm-hmm. This one tastes like cold banana. <laughs> well, now it has more of like a creamy ice cream mm. feel to it. I think they're better banana cold. ice cream. A product I would never buy. I'm just throwing that out there. Mm. Uh-huh. I can only really get a hint of the chocolate on the cold one. The warm one, all I taste is banana. I'm not a huge fan, but then again, I'm not really a huge fan of banana, and they got the flavor really good. So, arguably, it's a good thing that I don't like it. I think. I'm gonna try this one. Not bad. Let's see, and the cold. Let me pal up, please. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cold's good as well. You know what we need to do for another food challenge? Not sucking on these like all people do, because we have more things to try. Mm-hmm. We're in a time limit here. We have two more. Two more. Okay. Here's the box. What am I eating? <laughs> you don't need to know. What is going in my face? Oh, these are good. <laughs> Cookies and cream, Pocky. I can't think of you know how you could possibly combine those two things and not get something amazing. Exactly. This is good. But you know what I was saying? We need to try something more for, for another food related challenge. Mm-hmm. I do believe we need to put a lime in a coconut. And drink them both together? Yes. And as expected, these are good. No, no one surprise. is surprised. <laughs> yeah, no real surprise there. Day cookies and cooking cream ish. Would that be the fruit equivalent of a uh, turducken? We need one more fruit. Mm. Let's see, what can you Some put Some sort in? of berry that we can slide into the... Uh, I think I'm going to pass yeah. Blueberries. Hmm? blueberries. Mm. Or sliced strawberries. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, this is what we're ending with. Mm-hmm. What we've been building up for this entire time. Oh, I think we have... What we have here are sriracha peas, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, hold that up again. (coughs) Chili coated or chili garlic coated green peas. I can't even handle like the smell of it. Uh, I I had to step. This also includes glutinous rice flour. My vodka is gone. Oh man, that builds. Can't say about that. Produced in a facility that uses milk, peanuts, seeds, seafood, celery, eggs, nuts, <laughs> and sulfites. If you're allergic to anything, just don't eat these. Alright, let's do this. It's good. The spice builds. It's good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat five of these things against my better judgment. <laughs> I'm gonna take six. Just oh, to... okay. This, uh, all right. You know, okay. there's I only, went for six, I got seven. There's only one way to... Yeah, I'm going to take two more. 
Oh man. Oh man. It does have a very sriracha smell to it. I can't even handle the smell. Alright, we're at seven. Oh, I'm doing these all at once. <laughs> Debating if I do them all at once or just at a time. Just gonna pre beer. I <laughs> doubt all at once is as entertaining as anything. On three. On three or one, two, three, go. On three. On three. One, two, three. Very crunchy. Oh. <laughs> Shrachi ch- flavor is starting to build. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> The humanity. <laughs> okay. Yep. I like you taste of sriracha. Yes. <laughs> it's drowned out the uh it's drowned out those spicy pretz things. <laughs> yeah, tell. <laughs> Though this plateaus. This doesn't just keep going endlessly. Like this, the chili. This hits a point at which you, the, the, your, your taste buds can no longer accept that there is any more sriracha there. So it just kind of hits a wall. I figured that was the one we had to do last because it would probably yeah, kill everything else after that mm. point. Well, the only thing I'd suggest that we may have done after that would be the uh, seaweed stuff. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. You have to taste it. <laughs> and you still taste like sriracha. Yeah, so excellent. Hang on. Actually gonna try it? I'm gonna try it. Oh, I'm not doing a chaser in between. No. That somehow made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> it does not cover the flavor at all. Now it tastes like like hot seaweed? No, you remember or you remember the smell we talked about about walking on the beach and the dead fish washing ashore? This just raised it to a 90 degree day. <laughs> of walking They're now hot rotting fish on the shore. They're now like half rotting, half cooking on the rocks. Oh. <laughs> so we do not recommend tragic peas with a uh, seaweed chaser. Okay, no. so if you guys had to pick like one or two, what would be your favorites that you would recommend? Um, let's see. Definitely the um, Koryama's. Uh, cheesecakes. It's gone. The cheesecakes were very good. Yep, that was good. <laughs> I've been using those as a chaser to cleanse my palate the entire time. I really like the hot chili salad pretz. They were really good. Really, really spicy, but very good. I also did like the corn flavored, um, oh. wherever those went. The pretz. corn flavored there pretz. Yeah, there's a lot uh, left. Yeah, there's some. Let's see, this is the banana. I really like the um, strawberry I don't remember which coffee. flavor these are. These may be uh, those. <laughs> I genuinely <laughs> don't, so let me know what that is. These are the cookies and cream. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is the corn one. Okay. You can tell by the it smell. It should be noted that the packaging is very similar on a lot of these things. Um, let's see. Uh, I do like the uh, guava mochi, but I like guava anyway, so... The sriracha also fades over time. That didn't. <laughs> that just kind of hung with you. I did like the sriracha peas, though. Mm, they were all right. I like sriracha, though, so. Forgetting how sweet the, ma- the mochi is. Yeah. That is sweet. <laughs> all right. Well. All right. So hopefully we have, bro- we have um, broadened your cultural horizons by proxy. And uh, again, big thanks to uh, our supplier here. Yay. Yep. So, Yay. So, Buy candy out of her van. <laughs> or booth. Or, or booth. If you see your after word, or on the, the internet. Van. We're on the internet. Yep. So there will be a link in the description. Go check that out. Yay. And click uh, it. Click it. And I'll be back soon in Warcraft form. Yep. yep. Give me a few weeks to get settled. No. Uh, we do main videos like the day you arrive. <laughs> Let's, uh, we have a schedule you are required to keep. I have a 16 hour drive with 11 year old dog. You'll be fine. Okay. Have him record videos then. <laughs> He's too lazy. He'll be fine. That would require him being awake. No, it doesn't. Not really. Alright. Well, Alright, well. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Keep holding up those walls, load bearing spuds. Yeah. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.